Hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Lloyd's ASMR. I hope you're all doing well and staying relaxed. As for tonight's video, as you can see by this bright orange box, that sits in front of me. We are going to do an unboxing and taste testing. Now, I'm sure you can tell what the, uh, the snacks are by this in front of me. Yes, these are Japanese treats. And this is a subscription box. Now, I did not purchase this subscription box. I am in no way um, sponsored or affiliated with this subscription box. This was actually sent by a fellow subscriber. And I would like to thank said subscriber for sending me this and for making this video possible. So, Philip, if you are watching, a huge thank you you for sending me this subscription box and making this video possible. Um, I have never tried the subscription box, um, so it's going to be a treat. I don't know if you can see the name on here, um, and forgive me, uh, bear with me, I'm probably going to have a really hard time pronouncing a lot of the items in this box. Um, Sakuraku, or Sakuraku. That's the name of the subscription box. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this box. Possibly off camera. It might be a little too loud, but I'll set everything out on the table, and we'll take a look at everything and see what we got. And then afterwards, we'll, uh, we'll start trying everything, and after each item, Take a look in the book after we try an item and see if uh, if we guessed it right with uh, what it's supposed to taste like and, and things like that. So.
artwork right there. I love Japanese artwork. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite uh, majestic. Kind of looks like a little 
bun cake. Looks pretty good. Super soft. Nice and spongy. And we also have a gift. A non Looks like some kind of a cloth. It's pretty cool. I love getting uh, uh, little international uh, gifts like that. Here we have. of these soft little cakes. They're really spongy. And they look like a fish. That's pretty cool. We all 
also have this, what seems to be some sort of a jelly or a jam. It's real, real gelatinous. And we have some kind of a little rice cake type thing. Smells really good. Um, the way to describe it is it kind of smells like peanut butter. So let's keep that in mind for when we go to taste test it. But first, we're going to get these smaller treats out of the way. Then we can move on to the bigger things. So, let's start off with this one here. Kind of looks like a banana chip type thing, doesn't it? It's really light. It's a glaze on it. Now I smell a little something. Kind of smells like uh, soy sauce.
does kind of taste like soy sauce. Um, tastes like a like a rice cracker. Then it has like a sweet, a little bit of a sweetness to it. And of course the uh, the soy sauce flavor. It's actually a nice little snack. It's not too rancid. No. Some things can taste uh, a little bleh. But this actually tastes pretty good. Let's see what it is. So it says it's called Maneki Neko Arare. Crafted using high quality ingredients, these golden Arare have been carefully baked and encased in packaging with one of eight joyful lucky cat or Maneki Niko designs. Now it says may contain traces of dairy, egg, shrimp, crab, beef, chicken, pork, apple, gelatin, sesame. So it really doesn't say much as to what's going on with it. This looks like a little Rice Krispie treat. Which is probably what it's similar to. It's got the aroma of laundry detergent. Still there. was pretty good. Um, it almost tastes like matcha and shrimp. Let's see what it what it says in here. I'm sorry I forgot to show you up close. Gives 
you a little history about everything. Unfortunately, it's not in here, so it must have been an added bonus. Yeah, we'll take it. Okay, so next up, the nuts. I think it's definitely peanuts. But what is it covered in? That's the question. I don't know if you can see it. The little peanut. It's a tiny little fella. These are pretty good. It's like some kind of sweet coating. Some sort of sugary goodness.
Might as well try our tea. coated in white miso from the esteemed Yamakaka, Yama, Yamazaki Brewery. Same with the unique blend of Yunami and pleasantly sweet miso, inviting you to experience a taste of time-honored craftsmanship. Well, I will say they were absolutely delicious. I'm going to pull up my little plate, stick it on there, and we'll go from there. I'll be right back, and here it is. Take a look at it. It just tastes like lemon jello. It's good. But it's lacking the lemon flavor. The 
flavor is like really, really light. Almost non-existent. saying this right satuchi or satushi hasaku jelly savor the essence of satoshi or satuchi sun-kissed hasaku a japanese citrus fruit in this delectable jelly carefully grown to preserve its natural sweetness and balanced acidity. This jelly captures the refreshing flavors of Hasaku. So I guess it's not lemon. It's Hasaku. doesn't smell like a fish. It smells actually quite sweet. Almost like... Almost like a tasty cake. Or... Um, a little Debbie. you have better ever have either but hmm. there he is okay so let's This looks like uh, chocolatey goodness. That was a surprise. It's a semi sweetness to it. I mostly taste this outer um, cake. The inside, whatever it may be, I barely taste it. And even though it's soft and spongy, it's kind of dry. And don't get me wrong, it's, it's 
it's really good, but you know, needs a little bit moist uh, moisture. See what it says about the fish. Taiyaki is a traditional Japanese fish shaped treat that has been cherished for generations. This doughy taiyaki has a generous amount of sweet bean paste filling to warm your soul. Okay. So I guess it wasn't chocolatey goodness. It's a sweet bean paste filling. I guess that's why it was a little bland. Hey, that's, that's okay. I enjoyed it. Okay, let's move on to the next snack. The next one is this. This definitely has a fishy smell to it. Like shrimp or crab. Might be crab, but I'm going to go with shrimp. good flavor. Subu Arar. Enjoy this pack of bite-sized Arar boasting two different flavors, shrimp and seaweed. Each bite offers you, each offers your palate a delightful burst of flavor with a satisfying crunch. quite delicious. And they definitely had quite a crunch to it. Well, let's cleanse the palate.
That is really good. I wish I could get more of this. smells it almost smells like toes <laughs> it literally like smells like socks not over soiled socks but after a, a day's use. So it looks like there's chocolatey goodness in this one. better than it smells and it was a little hard at first it was like a rock when I bit down on it but as you move it around your palate it melts away it's delicious it up with the uh, the vapor. That's probably what this is. Let's find out.
the Miyajima Cocoa Cookie. Savor the timeless delight of this Miyajima Cocoa Cookie, a revered confection that artfully sandwiches indulgent cocoa cream between delight or delicate egg crackers. Celebrated for five decades, it has become a cherished souvenir of Hiroshima. Pairs well with tea and coffee. Okay, so we were right. That's pretty cool. And here is our next one. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the same type of thing. See the lemon cream? Mm. Amazing flavor. The lemon cream is delicious. And the fortune cookie part tastes like a fortune cookie. Good thing I got two of those. So I'm going to be having it with coffee tomorrow morning. Okay, well, let's see what it uh, has to say. Satuchi Lemon Cream Cookie Artfully adorned with an image of Itsukashima Shrine um, These subtly, subtly sweet cookies embrace a layer of lemon cream infused with the flavor of Hiroshima Satuchi Lemons A combination of refreshing flavor and crisp texture. Well, they were very, very good. Okay, on to the next. We have about three more after this one.
this one. Smells like old burger grease. Yeah. Or like that, uh, that gunk that collects, you know, in a pan after you're, you know, done cooking your burgers. fishy flavor and there is a little bit of um you know taste how it smells I do taste burger grease in there and I also taste popcorn That's not the surprising part. The surprising part is it's oddly satisfying. Let's uh, take a gander. Let's see what is going on with this thing. It's called the New Year's Senbai. 2024 is the year of the dragon. Wrapped in charming dragon adorned packaging, this New Year's Senbai is coated in honey and soy sauce. A satisfyingly sweet and savory snack. Well, that's definitely um, a big surprise. So honey and soy sauce. Okay. I thought it was fish and burgers. Uh, that's the fun part about this. Never know. On to our next snack. And that would be our gold bomb kuchen. I smell banana. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, 
just throw these away. Never eat these. Okay, so here it is. It's like a donut, bun cake, pound cake. And it's gonna be good. Excellent banana flavor. Texture is perfect. You know, it's not too dry. It's nice and moist, spongy. That's delicious. Let's take a look at what it says in the book. Japan's first bamkuchen was baked in Hiroshima a century ago. This moist and flavorful banana bamkuchen is infused with luscious banana paste. A delightful twist to the time-honored treat. Tochi Lemon Mochi. Smells really good. Definitely has some strong lemon. Uh, aroma. And probably flavor too. So here he is. A little mochi. Now, I've had mochi ice cream before, but I've never had just mochi. It's really soft and fluffy. Mm. Just 
special hotness. flavor is amazing. Yeah, the texture. If you haven't had mochi before, can be something that needs getting used to. But, yeah, it's really good. ASMR signing off